you're Sparta's son. So what if I am, milkman? The answer is obvious. I'll take your soul. Hey, if you're gonna help me out, how about hold it down a little? Help you? Don't get the wrong idea, pal. I just targeted a demon, that's all. A white demon. Like hell I did. Yes, you did. You said you'd take me to the ocean. What the hell do you want to do at the ocean? Play, obviously. Go swimming, get sunburned, eat good food, that stuff. You can do that stuff anywhere. Doing it at the ocean is what gives it meaning. Okay, fine. Really? I'll lend you the car, so you can go by yourself. <laughs> yeah, right, whatever. If I could drive myself, there's no way I'd ask you. <laughs> What was that? I dare you to say that again! Please don't misunderstand me. I just... Shut up and get the hell out of here! Thanks for waiting. What's going on with them? Oh, that guy at the bar said that the boss's strawberry sundaes weren't very good. Strawberry sundaes? Like this? If I offended you, I apologize. I only meant to say that using slightly less sugar would make them... Shut your face, you little bastard! I don't even want your money! Hurry Hold on there, Freddy. Just a sec. <clears throat> I've got something of an attachment to the Sundays here myself. But they seem to be sweeter than usual today. That man is right. I'm afraid I have to agree with him. <clears throat> he got all moody. Oh, beneath that gruff exterior, he's just a softy. It seems I've hurt his feelings. You're right, I'm a demon. And what might you be? <laughs> That's right. I'm also a demon! Are you still breathing? Question for you. Do you know anything about the white demon that's been showing its face around here? No. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. I was lying. I was lying. I know who you're talking about. They call that guy Sparta's apprentice. Apprentice? Yes, that's right. He's supposed to be a really tough demon. And the rumor is that when he takes the sword in his hand, thousands of demons get killed in a split second. Oh, a 
with through your miss. Can I eat you now? So you called me here to pass the word on. Is that it? That's right. Well, that's unusually kind of you, if you ask me. I just thought I'd give you a little heads up. It'd be such a pity if I ended up killing him instead of you. There's a lot of history between you two. Am I right? <laughs> Maybe so. Sorry, but he asked for me by name. I won't let anyone interfere. <laughs> A demon who fought to protect the human world. My mentor. Sparta, the Dark Knight. It's been 2,000 years since that battle. And now the one who has appeared before us is not you, but your son, Dante. Sundays, even though you're grown ups. <laughs> so, what are you doing? People watching, perhaps. Sure, do have a lot of time. It's pretty peaceful, huh? Yes. It really is peaceful. I'd like to have times like these forever. Ah, Lord Modius always seems so placid. I can hardly believe that the two of you are twins. But really, what a waste. I wonder why Lord Modius abandoned swordsmanship. I'm told that long ago his skill with a sword was great enough to make the whole demon world tremble. Well, I suppose he felt he could never even hope to beat you, so he decided to just give up. Right, Lord Paul? Sparta entrusted his true strength and will to Modius, not to me. Lord Ball, I can't breathe! What would the likes of you know about my brother and me? <laughs> oh, I know what you have in mind. You intend to go there, don't you? To the Devil May Cry Agency. Isn't that your plan, my friend? Who acts like that? Well, it's not for me. 
If I were going to date someone, no way would it be a guy like that. He's lucky if he gets one job a week. Oh, Dante runs an odd job business called The Devil May Cry. But no matter how many jobs Morrison brings, he just screws them up. And it's a real problem. And it seems like he owes Lady a lot of money, too. Honestly, Dante is just so... Oh, oh no, I'm on dinner duty today. If I don't get back quick, the head of the orphanage will yell at me. Well, I'm off. Hey, will you have more free time tomorrow? I bet you will. Come to the Devil May Cry tomorrow and I'll make you a strawberry sundae, okay? That's a promise. <sighs> ah, a strawberry sundae. <laughs> what a cute little girl. Yes, she is. No doubt that girl will grieve, too. If Dante should end up dead. off to train in the mountains or something? So why would you fight Dante? Sparta's dead. He's alive. I'm so did you find it or not? Proof that he is still alive. Well, I waited 2,000 years, but Sparta did not appear. And so you're going after Sparta's son, Dante? That's right. If I get his soul, I'll also get the Dark Knight Sparta's power. So you insist on this? Yes. Then there's no help for it. In that case... If you insist on this, then please do it after you've defeated me. <laughs> I have no desire to battle someone who's abandoned the way of the sword. When he gets back, tell him to come to me. I see. A duel with me, huh? Please run. My brother should not fight you. And you... What could you have to gain by fighting him? Even if I don't have anything to gain, he does, doesn't he? Because word is that if he gets my soul or whatever, he'll get the same powers as my old man. I don't know who spread that rumor, but in the end, your brother's just another one of those losers who wants to capture it. Another one with dreams of becoming king of the demon world. Am I right? You don't understand anything about my brother. He just wants to fight someone strong. He has no intentions 
of becoming king and ruling over the demon world. What about you? In truth, don't you want it even more than your brother does? Wanting my soul. When someone picks a fight with me, I give it to him. That's the only reason I fight. I came, milkman. Let's settle this thing fast before I catch a cold. What's wrong? Maybe you're too scared. To do anything without your little brother, said it. <laughs> well, this makes me happy. I've always wanted to know what a swordsman trained by my father would be like, and now I got the chance. Looks like my father's sword work isn't that great. <sighs> How about making this a little more fun for me? What's wrong? Done already? I must not. <laughs> Loose here, in this place, for the sake of Modius. Modius, who gave up the sword for me. <coughs> I cannot. <coughs> I must not. Be defeated! So, you're finally showing your true nature, huh? Brother. I will suppress the Dark Knight's Brother. Two thousand years ago, when the demon and human worlds were connected, Sparta, my brother, and I made a promise. We promised we'd each live true to our aspirations and carry them out. Soon afterwards, Sparta came to this land all alone to protect the human world. And my brother never aligned himself with either world merely waiting devotedly for Sparta to return. Yes, dueling with Sparta, the best swordsman in the demon realm, was his only reason for living. I abandoned my sword. It had begun to disgust me. It created nothing. It could even rob my brother of his reason to live. And since I killed your reason to live, now your only reason to keep living is to take revenge against me. You guys couldn't be any more old-fashioned. 
kind of pathetic if you ask me. I swear, that lazy Dante. Wake up, Dante! Ah, uh, shut up. What the heck do you want? Today I'm making a special strawberry sundae for that man in the black coat. Sheesh. No matter how much I clean up this place, you mess it right up again. I don't think you'll come. Huh? Why not? A promise. Promise? That's right. He said he remembered a promise he made. An old promise to someone. A long, long time ago, Patty. <laughs> it's all going according to plan. <laughs> this is what I want. Now there's only one more thing left. <laughs> You hear news about parents abusing their children all the time. But I still feel like I want to keep believing that parents love their children unconditionally. My mother died protecting me. Maybe that's why. I apparently have some humanity in me, too. And maybe Patty's mother abandoned Patty because circumstances made it unavoidable. Next mission. Showtime.